Hello, everybody. So sorry to have ended the last episode on such a short notice, but, you know, uh, as far as I know, my limit on YouTube is 15 minutes, so until I have any, like, confirmation otherwise, I mean, I know I don't have any copyright infringement issues, and I know that I haven't, uh, really done anything wrong as far as I know. I've only posted, like, three videos up till now. Anyway, uh, so, this is That Emulator Guy, and back with more Let's Play Fire Emblem 7. In the last episode, we beat Chapter 2, and got the Monikati, so let's move on. The secrets of her past revealed in the words of two knights of Lycia. Now to meet her grandfather, Lynn heads west to Lycia and to her destiny. A mountain range separates the Sakai Plains from Burn. There are many bandits lurking here, the cruelest of which are the Taliver. They wreak havoc on both Sakai and Burn, and their savagery knows no bounds. On her tenth day away from the plains, Lynn witnesses their atrocities herself. Ooh, what was that? That looked like a winged thing. Hmm. This could be interesting. Chapter 3, Band of Mercenaries. Okay, I can safely say that this will probably be a two or more part chapter. This place, it's an entire... The entire area is in ruins. Why doesn't the Marcus do anything to help? Caliber Mountain is home to a gang of vicious, ruthless bandits. No Marcus holds power here. My village was near here, on the other side of the mountain. My people were... The Taliber bandits came at night. It took only one night. The survivors numbered less than ten, including me. They're soulless beasts. I would never forgive them. Never. Lindis. Uh... I'm not running away. I will be back someday. I'll be stronger. I will break their swords beneath me like twigs beneath a stallion's hooves. I will avenge my people. I'll do everything in my power. When the times come, bring when the time comes, bring me with you. Sane. Don't forget me either. Kent. Oh. You too, Jason? I you're thank you. Oh, whoa, what? Wait right there, little lady. What are you going to do to apologize, huh? Uh, I... that is... I... <laughs> She's quite a catch, eh, buddy? I bet the boss gave us a good, pretty penny for her. Yeah. She roughed me up a bit, so I figure fair's fair. It's no more than she deserves. I... I... What are we gonna do with her flying mule? Don't you dare touch her! What? You just watch your mouth, girly. Do what you will with me, just... Let her go, please, I beg of you. <laughs> Silly twit. Pegasi can only be found in Ilya. The rare beast worth more than you by far. We can sell it for a mountain of gold. Let it go, huh? No, you can't. Come on, let's move. Oh, Lynn to the rescue. What's this? Be on your guard, Lindis. There seems to be some sort of commotion over there. That's... that... that's... a Pegasus. Could it be... Florina? Is that you, Florina? Ah! Uh, Lynn! Florina! What are you doing in a place such as this? Lynn! Is it really you? I... I... Come now, qu no crying. I'm sorry. You are acquaintances? She is my friend. This is Florina, a Pegasus Knight in training from Ilya. She's a little uncomfortable around men. Tell me, Florina, what happened here? Well, um... When I heard that you had left, I decided to follow you. Then I saw this village, I flew down to ask if they had news of you. I didn't see these two, and, well... 
Did your Pegasus land on them? Well, I... A little. <laughs> you heard her. She admits her fault. She stepped on my friend, and now she's gotta pay. Did you apologize, Flor- Did you apologize, Florina? Yes. I told them I was sorry many times over. They just wouldn't listen. Don't cry. It's alright. Lynn. Listen, she's obviously sorry. Can't we just let this pass? You don't appear to be injured or anything. No chance. The girl goes with us by force if need be. Hey, come on out, boys, now. These men... The men are fair game, but don't put a scratch on the girls. Whoa, that's a bunch of them. Jason, we've got to fight back. When I... You're a Pegasus Knight, aren't you? You can fight, can't you? Yes! Listen carefully, Jason. We're facing bandits. They're underlings, but we can't take them too lightly. Let's clear them out of here. Are you ready? Heck yeah. The layout around here might make it difficult to fight. The same holds true for our foe, too. If we use these walls just so, they may ensure our victory. When? Who's that? This is Jason. He's still an apprentice, but he's my tactician. Oh, I see. Uh, Jason? I'm pleased to meet you. Uh, yeah, the red-roofed buildings are villages, and buildings that look like this, uh, if I could show, yeah, this, they're armories, and, well, there's another type, but we'll get to that later. Now, the thing with Pegasus Knights are that, oh, sorry, they can fly over obstacles, but they're really weak against bows, like, super weak. Now, like I said earlier, it's imperative to visit villages. Is anyone there? Leave us alone, you thugs. Go away, go away. We've no more gold for you. No, wait, please. We're not bandits. We want to help the village. Please, listen. Remain inside, everyone. I'll go see what's happening. Not bandits, huh? So who are you? My name is Lynn. My colleagues and I are just traveling through here. We saw some bandits about. We're going to deal with them, but we need you to go and warn the villagers. Hey, wait. The name's Will. I'm a traveler of sorts, too. Listen, these villagers have been kind to me. Mind if I fight with you? Not at all. We need all the help we can get. Welcome aboard, Will. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Um, yeah, you can get companions, items, stuff like that. Okay, bows. They can attack from two to three spaces, or one to two spaces away. Like this. The accuracy isn't always very good, and the damage is pretty basic until you level them up, but... For now, they're pretty good. Now, the, the thing with Pegasus Knights is the fact that they're not good at fighting. In fact, Florina sucks at fighting. Just completely. She doesn't have hardly any HP, considering how much damage she takes. And her Slim Lance doesn't do too awful much damage. But the thing about them is, um, bows are Pegasus Knight's, like, greatest nightmares, like, ever. If you get a Pegasus Knight in range of a bow, you are screwed. There is an item later on in the game that can stop that, but for now, you are pretty much screwed. So, try not to do it, if at all possible to avoid, okay? Okay. Basically, all you gotta do is you gotta get over there and you gotta beat, Dick, you gotta beat the guy, the big dude. It's not that hard to do, but... Really, when you're trying to strategically level your people up, it can be a pain. Lynn, what should I do? There's an archer! What? Where? Oh, that's Will. Hi, you're one of Lynn's friends? Um... What... What is it? Are you unwell? I'm sorry, Will. Her name is Florina. She's timid around men, and you... You've got a bow. Oh, I see. You must be a Pegasus Knight. I apologize for frightening you, but I do understand your fear of bows. I, um, I'm sorry. Even looking at a bow frightens me ever so much. Of course, I understand, 
But it's really only for your enemy's archers, not your own. Yes, of course. Uh, yeah, well, not just Pegasus Knights, but every unit that flies is pretty much useless against, uh, those. You can't have the village? That's it, alright. From now on, I'm just going to skip the village animation. Yes, you can get gold, items, weapons, stuff like that. And you can use that gold to buy stuff from armories and item stop shops. Now, I'm going to go set Ken up to fight. Because, like I said, I want Kent to be a higher level than Sane, because Kent is a lot better. In my opinion. That's my opinion, though, you know. That doesn't always stand true, but... From my experience playing the game, it, it is true. Kent is just 10,000 times better. And I see, since I'm standing on a forest, the odds of me getting hit by anything are really slim. So, yeah, it takes solace in that fact. Okay, also, never get, especially Pegasus Knights, with lances in range of ax a axemen, bandits, pirates, all that good stuff, because you will probably end up dying. That is the very cruel fact of life. Also, you want to try and level Will up as much as possible, too. If at all possible, finish enemies off with Will. Because archers are good if you level them up. If you don't, they're pretty much useless. Okay, now I'm going to save, because what I'm about to do is very, very risky. See? He has a four chance. Or, oh, well, a crit! <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter what I did. Also, in my experience, when you deal critical hits, you end up usually uh, getting more experience than you normally would. So, yeah, that's another thing to keep in mind. Oh, dang, we're coming up on my time limit. Um, like I said, as far as I know, that's my time limit on YouTube, so that's what I'm sticking with for a while. Uh, I'm figuring one of my... I, I might... The next episode's gonna be longer as a test. And if it can be longer, I am going to make it longer. So... Ooh, that kinda hurt. But I attacked twice. So it's all good. Again, if you level your Pegasus Knights up and your Archers, they can be good fighters. But... I'm saving again. Yeah, I know, I kind of abuse save states, but whatever, what can you do? Um, if I can pull off a crit, this guy's dead. If I can't, then I need to reload my save, or I'm going to die. <clears throat> nah, I, I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna go over here. Just wait. Wait it out. Let's see if Will can finish this guy. Of course he can't. Why would he be able to? I'm trying to figure something out that won't just, like, absolutely kill this guy. But I don't see any way to avoid it, so I'm gonna... Go ahead and finish him off. Oh, snap. Well, he's dead now. I didn't want to do it, but I had to. I gotta get my units to that armory and then to the boss so I can finish him off. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Also, if you're fighting bandits and pirates, if and there's a village, you need to make sure you get to that village before they do, or they will destroy that village, like like this one right here. Like they did in this one. If he had gotten to this village first, then this village would end up like this village. Um... Alright, well that's all for this part. We'll finish this chapter in the next part. Thanks for watching. Bye!